Okay, today uh, I want to talk about registering your drone. Um, this is going to be one of the requirements uh, for June 1st. Um, when you uh, log in to Transport Canada, they have Transport Canada Drone Management Portal. And this is where you'll see, take an exam, register a drone, apply for a pilot certificate. Today we're going to talk about registering your drone. So you'll just click on register a drone. Here you're going to see uh, all the requirements that are required for registering your drone. It says it should take about three minutes to register a drone. Um, you're going to need the purchase date um, or, you know, close to that date. Uh, so it's very important that you keep track of the dates that you purchase your drones uh, in the future and hopefully in the past. Um, you're going to need uh, the make and model and serial number. Uh, weight and type of drone uh, some of the drones they already have listed in there I had already registered one um, but it uh, it didn't ask me for the weight because I guess it already had the drone in there um, so they would have had the weight recorded uh, so basically um, you know I had regi registered the Mavic 2 Pro uh, it asked for the make which is Mavic 2 Pro, it asks for the serial number, you, uh, you type in your serial number, uh, it didn't ask for the weight uh, as it already had it in there. Um, and then basically you fill out your, uh, your payment. Okay, here we're going to put in the uh, purchase date for uh, the Mavic Pro calendar. Um, we need to go back to November 2016. <coughs> okay, here uh, it says, is there an existing Transportation Canada registration number on the drone? Uh, if this is the first time you're registering it, then uh, there won't be a number on the drone. Um, if it's a drone that was already registered and uh, you purchased it from somebody, then uh, they're required to give you the uh, registration number that was on it, and this is where you would enter it, and you would end up getting a new uh, registration number. Down here, I built my own drone using either a kit, off-the-shelf, or custom-built parts. <clears throat> what is the make and model? Okay, uh, we're going to put in the Mavic Pro. As you can see, it was listed in there. Um, now I need to enter. Uh, the serial number. We'll, uh, click continue. Uh, 
You will click uh, certify. And then here you'll click pay for registration. Another robot. Check out. Choose your method of payment. Save. And now that uh, you've registered your drone, um, you're going to have to uh, pick yourself up uh, a label maker. Um, they come in a lot of different varieties. Um, uh, you know, portable uh, label makers. I happen to get the P-Touch Cube from uh, Best Buy. I'm not sure what I paid for it, but I know they have some there, uh, little portable ones for like $20 Canadian. Um, but anyways, what you're gonna need to do with your label maker is uh, you're going to need, print out a label with the uh, uh, registration number that uh, was just issued to you and uh, my suggestion would be is to uh, stick that label on the top of your drone where it's uh, gonna be visible the most um, anyways uh, let's let's print out a label here just uh, creating uh, just a made-up uh, I made up a uh, registration number um, but this this P touch is a great little device here um, there's an app you can download for it and uh, I have it on my phone so uh, I can just open up the app uh, type in my registration number and uh, once I'm done that I can uh, I can just click uh, done and there's my label and I can just print it. It says number of copies. You can decide on how many copies, but you only need one. Let's click print. And there we have it. There's a registration number that uh, uh, you can stick on your drone. Um, these you just peel off the back and stick it on. Anyways, I, uh, I hope this video helped with uh, registering your drone. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.